Okay, uh, we stage some properties of double integrals. Uh, we will use those properties to evaluate and the, some double integral. The first is the double integral fx of y plus gx of y plus or minus dA equals the uh, integral of in integration first and then add them together oh, plus or minus that's the uh, and that's the first first property this property can be uh, can be proved by the definition so we we, we want to prove it we want to prove it because it's directed from the definition the second is if d if the region and is can be divided by two region and they are not overlap Overlap except except uh, boundary. Then the integration f x y d a can be write as a summation of two double integrals. This also can be proved uh, by the definition directly. The third one is the integration of one is the area of D. Be because by the, by the uh, definition of uh, double integral, the H of the function uh, the height of all the rectangular is one. So uh, by the by the formula of volume, the the volume is the base area times one. So the the the, the volume is the the value of the volume equals the area of the D. The, the fourth one uh, is if gx if fx y less or equal to gx y on d then the integration is always less than the integration of, of gx y the integration of fx y is always less than gxy. Uh, there is a special case. fx of y fx of y the integration the absolute value of the uh, integration is less or equal to the integration of the absolute value function uh, this uh, this uh, special case is uh, directed from the 
from the, the previous previous inequality and uh, fifth that is the um, special case for four uh, if m m the capital m and the uh, smoke m are maximum and the minimum of f x y on d respectively then the integration of f x y is less than the maximum times the area of D greater or equal to the minimum times the area of D uh, still by the definition of the double integral because the double integral f x y d a is the limit n tend to infinity or delta a tend to zero sigma i j as f x i star y j star delta a i will let we 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 know that the in the summation the f x y is less than capture m greater than the small m so the, the integration is bounded by these two value and all delta x i add together is the is the area of d uh, from the uh, from estimate this uh, this property is called the estimate of double integral and then we have mean value theorem the mean value theorem the mean value theorem uh, states that uh, uh, suppose f x y is continuous on D, then then there exists. one point uh, we call uh, C and eta belongs to D such that the double integral f x y d a equals f C eta uh, there's a proof because the f x y is uh, continuous on d so this is less than capital m times a d greater or equal to the small m times the error uh, we divide both sides by the area And we know that uh, this uh, uh, this number 
double integral is a number. This number is between the maximum and the minimum. So that by the uh, by the inter intermediate value theorem. Intermediate value theorem. There exists uh, epsilon in, by the intermediate value theorem. There exists uh, the point that uh, it calls AD, 1 over AD. So we proved. Mm, that's the property, properties of double integral. Uh, we can use uh, the properties to uh, estimate estimate the double integral. y uh, times x plus y dA where d equals x uh, y the x greater than uh, 0 less than 1 and y is greater than 0 less than 1 The solution is like the x y uh, x times y times x plus y uh, is obviously is uh, when x y both at one. This is the maximum that is two less than uh, greater than zero. The minimum is x both x y both as x and y equal zero. So the integration x of y times x plus y dA is less than and the area the area of d that is one so less than two greater or equal to zero. That's the estimate for double integral. The other properties we can use in the uh, in the eval in in the computation for double integral, we we were uh, use that uh, in some examples.